Okay, we spooked some wolves out. We have a big one here. Where do you think you're going? Got him. Hey guys, we're back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild today and today we're gonna be doing a brand new updated gray wolf zone guide. We're gonna figure out exactly where they are drinking since the update in June. That is the update that changed absolutely every map except for Silver Ridge Peaks. Everything got a pop reset and all new zones, a lot of new drink times. Grey Wolves don't have a new drink time, they still drink from 0 until 3 or 3.30 here in Yukon Valley. But their zones have definitely changed and they're really not easy to find since the update. So right now we are on Copper Bowl Lake. Now this is a huge lake, but so far we have found two drink zones for Grey Wolves here. But crazy enough, the old hotspots for Grey Wolves no longer have them there at all. This lake, no Grey Wolves. This one, none at all. Both of these lakes, don't head up there. You're wasting your time. There are no wolves there anymore. And there are none along the river. So it left me scratching my head. Where the heck are these wolves? Well, today we're gonna find them. So stick around right to the end of the video, guys. I am gonna share a hotspot map with you, showing you exactly where I have found all of my drink zones for Grey Wolf. Now your map won't be exactly the same as mine, but it should be very similar. And this video should help you to find Grey Wolves in Yukon. Let me know in the comments, guys, what the biggest Grey Wolf you have ever shot is and what your favorite map is. I would love to know. Let's head straight into it. And here is our mythical. Ooh, just got it. Almost led the shot too much, but that is a pretty nice one, 37.8. So diamond for Grey Wolf is 39.0. And here's a fun fact for you guys. Recently, with one of the most recent updates, the rares for Grey Wolves have changed. So there is only one common fur variation for Grey Wolves, and that is Grey. That's it. The rest of the fur variants are all considered to be very rare. And here they are. Dark Grey, Red Brown, Egg White, Melanistic, and Albino. These all have a 0.1% spawn rate. So they are very rare. All right, it looks like I spooked some more wolves out. We must have a drink zone up here. They're fleeing. Don't know if that was a good shot or not. Can't see too well here. Now, when you're hunting gray wolves, they are a class five species. Oh, we did get them. So you can use any four to eight rifle. Right now I am using the 303. There it is, beautiful. You can use the M1, the 30 odd six, any four to eight will do just fine. I really just don't recommend the seven mil because you really do need a follow up shot. Now you also wanna have a defensive weapon with you. So I am carrying the Rhino 454. I do have the Sunberg on me, which is free. That was a fifth anniversary gift from EW. So you should have it whether you have unlocked it or not. And there is our drink zone. You can also use a bow. Any defensive weapon are gonna be for when you're getting attacked and gray wolves can go aggressive. And that is actually an amazing way to make a lot of cash. Gray wolves are one of the best species in the game to make cash. And the reason for that is because they pay really well anywhere from 13 to 1500 with a vital shot and they don't spook. Most of the time you can take the entire pack of wolves down and that is a really nice payday. That doesn't happen with deer. Take one, two, three, Four if you're lucky, but then the rest of them are gonna flee. But with wolves, you can take down the entire pack. Now, if you are looking for a diamond gray wolf, they do go to nine legendary. I have heard of them making diamond at eight mythical, but I've only heard of that happening once. I have seen one screenshot, so it doesn't happen very often, but it is possible. Now, another thing that you're really gonna need when you're hunting gray wolves is the Gen Zero night vision binoculars, and you'll find those in the high-tech hunting pack. I don't use the scope as much, but the binoculars are an essential part of this hunt. You're gonna need them in the dark. Oh my goodness, what? Hello? Oh, no, no, no. I drowned, but I did save myself. Where'd he go? Did he go for a swim? Here he is. You thought you'd get me, did ya? Ooh, I got the skull there, unfortunately, but we did survive, that's all right. And we do have more gray wolves out here drinking. This lake is insane for gray wolves. Look at all the zones here. Those are all gray wolf zones, all of them. I would say this is the best lake on the map since the update for gray wolves, Copper Bowl Lake. This is where you wanna be. Oh my goodness, hello. No! Just one? I win. Oh, hello! Oh my goodness! A nine legendary! How you doing? No, 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 
no. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, he's still aggressive. He's not chickening out yet. Stop running! What is happening? <laughs> I'm gonna have to shoot him like this. What? He's just oh. circling me. Oh, there he is. Okay, here we go. We got him. Oh, just dropped him. What kind of a shot was that? Is he a diamond? He is. Holy, that was kind of insane. <laughs> 39.2 diamond from 6.6 .6 meters with the Sunberg. We will take it. That's kind of insane. And this is where he was, right here on Copper Bowl Lake. Okay guys, so now we're at one of the four lakes, basically in the center of the map. This is where we are right here. These four lakes, now these three lakes all have gray wolves drinking at them. They never used to be here before. I didn't find any here. Your map may be different from mine, but definitely check these four lakes and look at the size of this pack right here. It is a monster pack. Now another spot where I found them, which is basically off the beaten path, a very obscure place is this lake down here. That is a gray wolf zone right there and that is a pack of 10 wolves. I checked all these little lakes down here, no wolves down here, but definitely this one is a good one for gray wolves. Okay guys, so these are all the spots where I have found drink zones for gray wolves. Now the bottom left hand corner is the best lake on the map. Eight drink zones on that lake. But basically all the spots in the bottom left hand corner plus check three out of these four main lakes here. And that is everywhere I found gray wolves in Yukon. Now guys, I will post this map and every map in videos to my discord for you guys to easily reference. And I will leave the link below the video. So I really hope that helps you to find gray wolves here in Yukon Valley and I hope you did enjoy the video. If you did learn anything guys, smash that like button and we will definitely see you guys in the next one. Take care guys.